Thank you, Mr Speaker. I rise to speak on behalf of the Greens on the Liquor Amendment Reviews Bill 2017, which amends the Liquor Act 2007 to implement a range of measures announced following the Callanan review of the Sydney CBD and Kings Cross lockouts, and also to implement changes to the Three Strikes disciplinary scheme that targets venues in breach of their liquor licence obligations. The Greens are not supportive of this bill because I think we need to look at what is happening here in a little bit more detail. It is true that what we are seeing in some parts of this bill is implementing the recommendations of the Callanan Review. And it is true that some of those recommendations have already been changed in regulations and that this bill is required in part to come before this chamber so that we can make a decision on the recommendations in relation to what was undertaken by the Callanan Review. But earlier today, I put a simple question to the Minister's office in the briefing um, that we had, and I asked where in the Callanan Review was it included that there actually was a need to change the three strikes scheme in New South Wales. It appears, and obviously I can uh, look for myself because that Callanan Review is public, the report is there, that there is no recommendation from the Callanan Review in relation to recommendations around changing the three strikes disciplinary scheme. So while this might look like this is simply implementing the recommendations of the Callanan Report, in actual fact, what this bill does is takes it further than that and actually makes changes to the three strikes disciplinary scheme. Now let's have a look at that, because in practice what we saw is the regulations changed in relation to some of the recommendations in the review. We saw that the regulations changed to say small bars could increase from 60 to 100. We saw the extension, so now, you know, a party on, we can now have drinks uh, and the doors open in bars from 1.30 to 2 a.m. Um, and from 3, 3 a.m. to 3.30 changes in terms of when drinks can be served. Now, obviously these were minimal changes and the Greens position on the lockouts has long been held that we opposed the lockouts from the beginning because we saw that it was a blanket punishment on individual members of the community when in actual fact what we needed to be doing is to see targeted responses that looked at the evidence and targeted the problem. Now, that doesn't sound that controversial, but it actually in this bill, what we are seeing, and unfortunately we've heard from the Labor uh, Party that they are supportive of this change, what we are actually going to be seeing is a weakening of the regulation on problem venues. So on one hand, what we have is immediate imposition of top-down lockouts on individuals to stop them being able to go out, to stop them being able to party all night in a safe, uh, vibrant city that is Sydney. But at the same time, on the other hand, surprise, surprise, those uh, big publicans, the big venue owners, they are getting a hand up from this government and the regulations on them are being weakened. So what we're seeing here is yet another example where this government is willing to crack down on community while at the same time weakening the regulations that are targeting the problem venues. Now, I just want to point out here that apparently there has been some advice from Callanan in relation to this review, in relation to the changes to the disciplinary scheme. It is my colleague in the upper house, Justin Field, asked a question just today, to ask a question just today in relation to the advice that was received by the Minister from Callanan in relation to the changes to the three strikes scheme. So far what we have in front of us is this. The government sought, at least this is what's on the record, the government sought advice from Callanan in relation to the three strikes scheme. The government received advice from Callanan in relation to the three strikes scheme. What we don't know is what that advice said. And when we asked for that advice to be released, when we asked what that advice said, it was not released. It's not public. And as has already been pointed out by the opposition speaking on this bill, Sean Nichols in the Sydney Morning Herald has pointed out that this, uh, this information is not forthcoming. And as we've seen, it has been released to certain, well, at least some advice and some information that is not publicly available, not available to decision makers in this place, has been released to certain publicans and to, it seems, the Hotels Association. So I question whether or not 
what we're doing here is actually implementing the recommendations of the Callanan Review or whether in actual fact we are finding a little uh, way to also uh, slip in there the ability to loosen uh, the impacts on problem venues and the way to regulate them. So let's look at it in a little bit more detail as to what this means. What this means is basically to see a change to the three strikes scheme um, that began in 2012, which was designed to target licensed venues who repeatedly commit serious offences. Now, in the submission, and I think this takes us on another tangent, but let's go there. In the submission to the review of the three strikes scheme in 2016, the New South Wales AT ACT Alcohol Policy Alliance, NARPA, said that the current scheme is falling short of its objectives. And they went on to make a detailed submission. Now, the House might also be interested to note that this submission was in relation to a statutory review that was required. Now, that statutory review was required under the uh, changes or the introduction of the three strikes scheme. The review, according to 144K, the review part of the Liquor Act 2017, that review should be undertaken as soon as possible after the period of four years from the commencement of this part, and a report on the outcome of the review is to be tabled in each House of Parliament within 12 months of the end of the period of four years. Now, just to uh, put that in a little bit of date here, what we saw was the uh, bill was commenced. The, it was commenced in the 1st of January 2012, and if you work that out on a rough calculation, that means that we should have seen that report tabled on the 1st of January 2017. We haven't seen that report. So what we've got here is one report from Justice Callanan recommending things where some of the things have been changed and some of them haven't. Some of them have been taken on board, the recommendations, the regulations have been changed, this bill changes some of them. Then we know that there's some secret advice sitting somewhere that recommends something about the three strikes licensing scheme, but we haven't seen it. So the advice could have said, oh, actually, we think you should toughen the regulation on venues, but they're weakening it. So we don't know what that advice says. And then in addition to that, we're seeing changes to a bill come before this House in a situation where actually what we should have seen on the 1st of January by this year, by the 1st of January this year, is the statutory review of this legislation being tabled. But instead we're debating changes to it without seeing that review. Something is going on here, something is happening here, and I don't think we have to look very far to the history of politics in New South Wales to know that there has been a long connection between the alcohol lobby, between special interest groups when it comes to pubs and casinos and gaming and booze in this country and in this state and a connection to the New South Wales government. That's why the Greens are opposed to this legislation. It is quite possible that the minister, who I know it is in the chamber, and it is quite possible that the minister has advice that says that they could make changes. And he's waving a post-it note at me. I'm not sure whether Justice Callanan uh, wrote something down on a post-it note to him. But apparently there is advice that recommends changes to the three strikes scheme. If that advice exists, I wonder why did Justice Callanan not include it in his report? And if the government has that advice now, why don't they release it to the public? It would be very useful to see that advice and to know that advice before we debate legislation. And it seems that the statutory review that has occurred, that people have made submissions to, and if you go to the website, you can see that you go to the website and you can see where they actually make the submissions. But then basically there's no detail on who, who made those submissions, what happened after that. Because the statutory review hasn't actually been tabled in this parliament. It was due to be tabled on the 1st of January 2017. I want to end by just talking about the fact that the Greens have always opposed the lockouts that were imposed because there were the ability to have targeted solutions to addressing alcohol-related violence. And in the Newtown electorate, we have started an initiative that brings together the New South Wales Police Association, the Neighbourhood Centre, the Liquor Accord, local businesses, local community members, to say that we want to address how we address the safety and the vibrancy of our nightlife. And that has been an absolute success. What it has resulted in is those groups and community members coming together and addressing serious issues like security guards outside of, the pub, uh, outside of pubs, being able to be trained in the vibe of the area, being able to support and share things. It means that we've had people welcoming people at the train station to show the creative nature of it, live music happening on the street. 
those things make a difference to a community. And when we look at the Boxar stats, the crime rates in Newtown have not gone up and the local response has been impressive. That is what we need, local solutions, not addressing this idea of lifting regulations on problematic venues and making it harder for people to go out and have a good time in a safe and vibrant Sydney. I'd like to thank the member 